My name is Jeremy Huesline. I'm from Orlando, Florida, and I went to college in Wheaton, Illinois, just outside of Chicago, and I'm here in Belgium doing an MA in philosophy at the Catholic University, Leuven. I had actually never heard of Belgium before except in World War II history class um, and, and some of what Herbert Hoover did after the First World War. But um, it was an interesting decision coming here. I had a professor who had gone, gone here before and sort of had paved the way and he talked about it and I was really excited. So um, I came to Belgium for a few reasons. One, I never studied abroad and I wanted to and it was the perfect opportunity. It's a one year's master's. Um, it's much, much, much cheaper than the States. <laughs> um, so that's a, that's a big reason. Um, MA programs aren't normally funded. But uh, in Belgium, they're very willing to um, provide funding um, and costs are low. Living costs aren't even that high. Um, now that I'm on the ground here, I thought they'd be, they'd be much higher, but they're not. And it's just a wonderful place. Um, learning a lot about Belgian politics, <laughs> um, which are interesting, but uh, it's, a, it's a great place to live. Um, and I'm really excited to be here. The cost of education here is, is much lower. Um, for example, I'm paying 600 euro for a whole year while the college I went to in Illinois was 36,000 a year for tuition. So that's, I mean, that right there is a huge difference. And cost of living, my, I'm living with a few other Americans and together our rent is under 700 euro. And personally for me, it's like 230, like, um, the way we've split it up. So living in a, in a flat, a two-story flat for 230 euro. Um, groceries, cheaper, um, can, get a year, can get a beer and a glass of wine for about two euro, uh, three euro if we're getting fancy. But yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's nice. <laughs> Living in Belgium and specifically Leuven is really quite, actually it's quite fun. Um, people seem to be very open to and polite, very polite, very polite, um, you know, my experience being with people in Chicago, but very friendly, uh, want to help you out, um, want to know where you're from, want to know about you, um, love talking about America, um, love talking about Herbert Hoover. <laughs> I've heard more about Herbert Hoover in the last uh, few months than ever before in my life, but that's okay. Um, uh, and I've been into Brussels a few times and people here, it's just, it's very lively and um, can you start up conversations on the street. Um, I went out, with a, went out with a few guys and we met up with some, uh, some English guys too and uh, at the bar, uh, the bartender was throwing glasses at us and he brought up pictures and I, they would have started singing but they cut that off before, before it really happened. Uh, so it's, it's it's quite enjoyable and quite lively and uh, very, like I said, um, at least, in, at least in, I know I can speak to Leuven, people are very friendly and uh, very willing to, to talk. Applying to um, KU Leuven, um, I did it rather earlier than most students. I applied in February. Um, which is when they say the original deadline is, but they always have seen, they extended it, at least I know, um, for, for quite a while. I, have a, I had a friend who applied and didn't send actually his physical like stuff in until July and still is here actually with me right now. Um, so they're, they're, they're pretty flexible. Um, the main thing is getting your letters of recommendation um, I got those earlier from my professors. Um, the deposit is a 75 euro application fee, which they actually take that out of your tuition fee when you're when you get here. So that's really nice. But um, and that was a wire transfer. Um, setting it up through the university, I emailed um, the international office at my university, and they were very helpful. And they, they know everything because they deal with you know Americans all the time. And so being in contact with them made things really smooth and really easy. And uh, yeah, I'm here and it wasn't hair splitting. I'm at the uh, Higher Institute of Philosophy at, at KU Leuven and I'm, it's a center of phenomenology. There's the Husserl archives there. 
I'm, I'm doing ancient philosophy, but also um, bringing in phenomenology to a conversation on sense perception um, and Aristotle, and then Merleau Ponty, uh, who's, who, is, who is a Husserl scholar, uh, and the Husserl archives are at KU Leuven. So that's really nice for me that, you know, all those resources right there. Classes are long, uh, two-hour lectures, but normally there's a break uh, in between. And the professors are, are really engaging, and they make the two hours go by really quickly. As for papers and assignments, there's very few um, during the semester. Um, there's final papers, sometimes there's like a, a midterm, and it's normally just papers, um, not any other sort of test. Um, that might be unique to philosophy, but I'm getting the feeling that it's not um, based upon conversations with other Belgian students. Um, so my final papers, um, there are 3,000, 4,000 words, never long, um, but the final exams in other classes that aren't final papers are final oral interviews, um, which, from what I hear, can be pretty intense, but only lasting 20 minutes or so. Um, so preparing for those will be interesting in January, since the semester goes up till December 20th, December 23rd, there's a break for Christmas, and then there's an examination period in January, a lot like the Ivy League schools in, in the U.S. It's, it's been interesting being American in Belgium and having gone through an American educational system and now being in a Belgian um, educational system. And the difference is, I think, I'll do, I'll, there's two main differences I want to focus on, the academic and then the social. Um, the academic, in Belgium, you go to class, you have one class period in, in the week of that class. So I only go to theory of knowledge on Monday and then I go again on Monday. Uh, in America, I would go like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, so I'm, you're, in America you're in the class more um, and your assignments are smaller in between classes and there's less reading in between classes. But you're, you're engaging with the material multiple times to sort of you know, help to ease the, ease the intake of knowledge. Um, and it's not as much independent work as, as it is in Belgium. In Belgium, a lot of independent reading, a lot of independent uh, secondary reading that you find the articles you know, on your own because you're trying to you know, make sure you understand it all. Um, which is, which is fun. You're in the, the library definitely has a culture here. Um, so transition is social. Well, you know, if you want to meet people in Belgium, the library is actually a great place. But also then um, the, f the faculty bars um, are, are great too. Um, that every faculty, every department has a sort of social third place that students know that they can go to to meet people, which is really, really nice. Um, I met a Canadian and uh, an, Ara an Iranian and several of the students at uh, the faculty bar of philosophy. And then they become friends and you know, we bust into debates and, and it's, it's, it's great fun. Um, in the U.S. and American schools, third places are a little bit, they're not, there's, there's the cafeteria, which is everyone, um, which is really nice because you can meet economists, you can meet, you know, political science, you, you meet whoever, you know, medical students, um, all in this one place. But there's not a really, um, the department doesn't, isn't the center of the university. Um, there, you don't really meet other just outside of class, other people in your department, you, you have to be really intentional about that. Um, arranging meetings in class to go, you know, to the bar, or, you know, get coffee or whatever. Um, if you're interested in pursuing an education both uh, that is excellent in quality um, and get, opens up opens up whole new worlds of experience, um, come to Belgium. It's really the capital of Europe. Uh, Paris is an hour and a half away, London's an hour and a half away, Amsterdam is three hours away. I'm flying to Berlin tomorrow, um, and it's an hour flight. Like, it, and, and life in Belgium is good. People are friendly, um, and communities are, are pretty close. So it's, and the politics are very interesting, but uh, it, it's fun to, to get into those conversations. So Belgium's a great place um, and very welcoming. So. Why not?